We have seen that chief of our armed forces do not do much talking publicly, but when they do, they mean business. India is celebrating its 89th Air Force Day and our newly appointed Chief of Air Staff, Air Chief Marshal Vivek Ram Chaudhary during his interaction has revealed a lot of information related to various technologies of Air Force which is a very good sign for our Air Force. This is something that we all should know, especially the community which follows the defense news closely. The first update is from the mighty MiG. MiG-21 Bison. It is one of the best interceptors which has even drowned an F-16 in a deadly skirmish. CAS has told that all four IAF MiG-21 squadrons are to be retired within next three to four years. Our next update is related to HAL's Light Utility Helicopter LUH. Yesterday, we reported that LUH is undergoing third trial. The current trials of the LUH are to test the modified tail rotor as requested by the Indian Army and it seems to be one of the requirement by Army for the FOC to LUH. Now LUH is flying with extended tail rotor at Leh and might get FOC soon. The Air Force Chief has said that Air Force is on the verge of procuring first six LUH helicopters from HL to replace the Chetak and Jita fleet and will be inducted soon. The next update is related to MCA. Air Force Chief has said that our fifth generation fighter aircraft requirement would be met by MCA indigenous fifth generation aircraft being developed by DRDO and would match the capability across the border. CAS has made it clear that Air Force is fully committed to MCA program. The induction of MCA will begin from early 2030s. He also said that the MCA project is moving ahead and will be matured by the end of the decade. Talking about China, he said that China continues deployment at three air bases in Tibet region and we are fully prepared to deal with any situation. The deployment of Chinese PLA Air Force in Tibet theater does not change the operation tempo and deployment of Indian Air Force. When asked about China's Air Force capabilities near Ladakh, he told that the capability to launch multiple high altitude missions would remain weak for China. The induction of Rafale, Apaches have significantly added to our combat potential. Our offensive strike capability has become even more potent with the integration of new weapons on our fleets. The next update is related to S-400, India's first S-400 Triumph air defense missile system is to be inducted and commissioned by this year. CAS is stressed on the offensive strike capability which greatly enhances with the new cutting edge weapons and plans for directed energy weapons, swarm drones and loyal wingman type platforms are there. Air Force is planning to induct more LCA Tejas fighter jets as well. Air Force will soon give contracts to the startups to develop swan drones for Indian Air Force. India has been making efforts to work on indigenous anti-drone capability for a long time. The startups will be given benefits to design and develop counter UAS system for Air Force. Talking about the cybersecurity. Air Force Chief said that Air Force has hardened its network to avoid cyber attacks. Adequate safeguards are being taken to protect the critical infrastructure. The last update is related to Indian Air Force Intelligence Surveillance Target Acquisition and Reconnaissance I-STAR program. The Air Force Chief has confirmed that this program has progressed through DTTI initiative with the US. The DTTI is Defense Technology and Trade Initiative taken between US and India which helps to eliminate the bureaucratic obstacles, accelerate timelines, promote collaborative technology exchange, strengthens cooperative research and enables co-production, co-development of defense system for sustainment and modernization of military forces. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.